been walking for about an hour now. Half an hour since the bridge. So I think next time, once I come along this track, I'd wear long trousers. I didn't realise the footpad had so much cutting grass. Mm -hmm. and character focuses on is actually trying to promote this uh, this individual and I suppose in, in uh, Friedrich Nietzsche's uh, lexicon if I use a too fancy word it would be called the Übermensch so it's basically just uh, just a uh, real it's, it's, it's the ideal person it's a moral person, the individual who thinks for himself, who's highly rational, the one who strives for truth. And Weininger used this, uh, you know, the, the monad, the person who had uh, complete thoughts and perfect memory. Uh, he didn't uh, despise anything that the world um, presented to him, but synthesized it all in himself and made himself the universe. This was basically the standard for his, his treatise. And um, hence he presents the woman problem in that light. And the reason why he criticises Jewishness is simply because in the same way that he sees women as most clearly symbolising all that is the opposite or, or um, aspiring in the opposite direction to this ideal individual, it's the same. The woman symbolises it and the Jew, historically, he believed from his observations in uh, his time, he believed that the Jew was the most obvious example. So this is clearly, it's, just, it's an empirical observation based on a moral ideal. You know, if he lived in a different civilization, he would have turned at something else. You know, based on what he thought were the clearest examples of that uh, retrograde um, mind state, dimensions of mind. I'm going to put the camera back on.